Do you know what foods to avoid when taking acetaminophen? The answer might surprise you. Acetaminophen, a common over-the-counter medication, is known worldwide for its effective pain-relieving and fever-reducing properties. Countless people reach for this trusted medication to alleviate discomfort from headaches, toothaches, body aches, and to bring down a high. But did you know that what you eat while taking this medication can potentially alter its effectiveness or possibly lead to harmful side effects? It's a fact often overlooked, but certainly paying attention to. When taking acetaminophen, certain foods should be avoided to ensure the maximum efficacy of the medication and to prevent any potential negative interactions. To understand this, let's delve a bit into the science. Acetaminophen is metabolized in the liver. Some foods, particularly those high in certain compounds, can interfere with this process. This interaction can potentially lead to unwanted and, in some cases, even harmful side effects. For instance, grapefruit and grapefruit juice are known to interact with many medications, and acetaminophen is no exception. These citrus fruits contain that can interfere with the enzymes that break down acetaminophen in the liver. Similarly, alcohol can also affect the metabolism of acetaminophen, leading to liver damage if consumed excessively. It's important to note that individual reactions can vary. Factors such as your overall diet, other medications you may be taking, and your general health status can all influence how your body interacts with acetaminophen. Therefore, it's always best to consult with a healthcare provider before making significant changes to your diet while taking this medication. Apart from grapefruit and alcohol, some foods to be cautious of include certain types of cheese, smoked meats, and pickled foods, as they can potentially increase blood pressure, leading to unwanted side effects when combined with acetaminophen. The goal isn't to scare you, but rather to educate and make you aware of potential interactions. Knowledge is power, and understanding which foods to avoid when taking acetaminophen can help you make informed decisions about your health. Here's a rundown of some foods you might want to sidestep while taking acetaminophen. First on the list, alcohol. Alcohol is a substance that we often consume in our day-to-day -day lives. It's present in our social gatherings, our celebrations, and sometimes our quiet nights at home. Whether it's a glass of wine at dinner or a cold beer on a hot day, alcohol tends to weave its way into our routine. One must take note, however, that alcohol is not just a casual beverage. It's a substance that can interact with our bodies and our medications in ways that aren't always beneficial. In fact, when mixed with certain medications, alcohol can have harmful, even dangerous effects. One such medication is acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is a common over-the-counter drug found in many households. It's often used to relieve pain or reduce fever. You'll find it in various forms and under various brand names, but its effects remain the same. It's a helpful medication that can make a significant difference when you're dealing with discomfort. However, mixing acetaminophen and alcohol is not advisable. Even in moderate amounts, this combination can be harmful. You might be thinking, but what's a moderate amount? Well, it's not that simple. What may seem like a moderate amount to one person could be excessive to another. Factors such as body weight, tolerance, and overall health can significantly impact the effects of alcohol on the body. So why is this combination harmful? The liver is the organ primarily responsible for breaking down both alcohol and acetaminophen. When you consume both substances, the liver has to work overtime to process them. This extra strain can lead to liver damage over time. And it's not just a slight risk either. The damage can be significant, leading to serious health complications, and in severe cases can even be fatal. This is why, while taking this medication, it's important to be cautious about what else you're putting into your body. It's not about eliminating alcohol entirely, it's about understanding the risks, being mindful of your consumption, and making smart choices with your health in mind. So, while taking this medication, it's better to skip the wine and beer. Next up, grapefruit and grapefruit juice. A staple in the citrus family, grapefruit and its extracted juice, are a refreshing delight to many. With a unique taste that's a blend of sweet and tart, they are a favorite breakfast item or a casual snack for others. The vibrant pinkish hue of the fruit, the tangy aroma from the rind, the burst of juice that sprouts out with each bite, all contribute to the overall experience of enjoying a grapefruit. However, while these fruits are rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber, they have a hidden aspect that many are unaware of. 
Grapefruit and grapefruit juice are known to interact with certain medications, subtly but significantly altering the way these drugs are metabolized in the body. One such drug is acetaminophen, a common over-the-counter medication used to relieve pain and reduce fever. When you consume grapefruit or its juice, certain chemicals within the fruit interfere with the enzymes that break down acetaminophen in your body. This interference can lead to higher than normal levels of the drug in your system. Typically, your body is able to process and eliminate acetaminophen effectively. However, in the presence of grapefruit, the drug lingers longer than it should, accumulating in your system. This unintended accumulation might not seem like a significant issue at first, but it can potentially lead to some harmful effects. Your body isn't designed to handle such high concentrations of a drug. Over time, this could put undue stress on your liver and other organs, leading to potential damage. Furthermore, this interaction doesn't just apply to acetaminophen. Grapefruit and grapefruit juice can interfere with a wide range of other medications as well, including certain cholesterol-lowering drugs, blood pressure medications, and even some cancer treatments. Therefore, it's crucial to be aware of this interaction and discuss your diet with your healthcare provider if you're on these medications. While grapefruit is certainly not a fruit to be feared, this potential interaction is a reminder that even natural foods can have a powerful impact on our health. It's essential to approach our diet with knowledge and mindfulness, understanding that what we eat can affect our medication and overall health. This could potentially cause harmful effects. Thirdly, keep an eye out for foods high in caffeine. Caffeine is a natural compound found in a variety of plant species. These plants, which are native to Africa, South America, and East Asia, use caffeine as a pesticide. It's a fascinating substance, really. When we, as humans, consume caffeine, it stimulates our central nervous system and metabolism, making us feel more alert and energetic. Intriguingly, caffeine is found in quite a lot of everyday items. This includes coffee, a popular morning beverage for many individuals around the globe. There's the invigorating aroma, the comforting warmth of the mug in your hands, not to mention the boost of energy it provides. Then there's tea, another hot beverage enjoyed by millions. From Earl Grey to green tea to chamomile, the variety is seemingly endless. There's a type of tea for every time of the day and for every mood, it seems. But it's not just hot drinks that contain caffeine. It's also present in chocolate, a sweet treat loved by many. Whether you prefer milk, dark or white, eating chocolate can provide you with a small caffeine boost. Even some sodas, especially cola-based drinks, are infused with caffeine. These fizzy drinks, often enjoyed ice cold, offer a different kind of pick-me-up, one that's chilled and refreshing. However, despite these enjoyable properties, it's important to remember that caffeine can speed up the rate at which acetaminophen is processed in your body, potentially reducing its effect. Lastly, avoid eating copious amounts of fatty foods. You might be wondering why this is important. Let me elaborate. When you consume foods rich in fats, it affects your body's ability to process medications efficiently. The high fat content in your diet acts as a barrier, slowing down the absorption process of certain drugs. One such drug is acetaminophen. Acetaminophen, as we know, is widely used as a pain reliever and fever reducer. It is quite effective when your body absorbs it correctly. But when you have a diet high in fats, the efficiency of this process decreases. The fats make it harder for your body to break down the acetaminophen, and as a result, your body takes more time to absorb it. This delay can be a problem, especially when you're in pain and need immediate relief. So what's the solution? Try to maintain a balanced and nutritious diet. Opt for foods low in fats and high in fiber. These foods can aid in faster drug absorption, making your medication more effective. Potentially delaying its pain-relieving effects, a high-fat diet can slow down the absorption of acetaminophen. In summary, while taking acetaminophen, it's crucial to monitor your intake of alcohol, grapefruit, caffeine, and fatty foods. These can interact with the drug in ways that can either increase your risk of side effects or reduce the medication's effectiveness. Remember, everyone's body reacts differently to food and medication combinations. So it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant changes to your diet or medication regimen. So, next time you reach for that bottle of acetaminophen, keep in mind the foods that could interfere with its effectiveness. Your body will thank you.